Welcome to our daily prayer. I'm Deacon Jerry Zumkevich. We come together this day again to pray. It's hard sometimes. I have difficulty on some days to take the time to uh, set aside and, and pray. Sometimes it's in the morning, sometimes it's in the afternoon, other times in the evening. And some days when my day comes to an end, I ask myself, did I take the time to pray today? To bring God's presence into my life. This time of our daily prayer is a time for us just to set aside the time to pause, and to pray, and to be in the presence of our God. So again, thank you for joining us this day for our daily prayer. Today I want to talk a little bit about Saints Peter and Saint Paul. Their feast day is on Tuesday, June the 29th. We all know Peter and Paul, or at least we should, uh, preeminent apostles of our early church. Peter was among the 12 disciples called by Jesus. Originally named Simon, then Jesus gave him the Aramaic name Cephas, meaning rock, rock. And of course, you remember that verse from scripture where Jesus said, you are Peter or Cephas, and upon this rock, I will build my church. Jesus had a sense of humor. The occasion was when Jesus' question to the disciples was, who do you say that I am? Well, that rock, Cephas, Peter, also is one who denied Christ three times, but later repented and became the first leader of the early church. There is hope for all of us. St. Paul was a devout Jew, initially a persecutor of the church. But after receiving that vision of the risen Lord, he was convinced that Jesus was the Messiah and turned his life around, a transformation that took place. His letters to the early Christian community, which we hear uh, at Mass, became the foundational documents for our early church. He suffered persecution himself in many ways, and was eventually martyred in Rome, where Peter, too, suffered that same fate of martyrdom. Peter and Paul apostles of the first century of the early church, which we remember on their feast day of June 29th. The scripture reading I'd like to share with you today is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul, this one to Timothy. I, Paul, am ready, already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have completed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me, the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. St. Paul. St. Paul finished the race, kept the faith, and calls us to do the same for all the difficult days the tough days, the days when we find it truly hard to pray. So let us now offer our prayers this day for those that need prayers and for our special intentions. We ask God to uh, be with our Holy Father, Pope Francis.
Francis and our Bishop Edward and all those who hold and teach the Catholic faith in our church and throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those in government and positions of leadership that they will truly work for the common good to serve all people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering. We pray for the dying this day and for all those who have died, that they may receive their eternal reward. We pray to the Lord. We pray for one another, for those that have asked for our prayers, and especially those that need our prayers the most this day. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear all of our prayers, those that we voiced out loud, those that we hold within the silence of our heart. And if it be your will, we ask you to hear our prayers and to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. And joined in prayer together, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the angels continue to watch over us throughout the day and guard us through the moments of our life. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. We go about our day now in peace. Until next time, be gentle. Take care.